For many people, the earthquake in Turkey has brought back memories of the 1999 Gigi earthquake, which left thousands dead in Taiwan's central region. Seismologists say that the quake in Turkey was even more powerful, caused by a fault that is 200 kilometers long. They say that Taiwan may not see such a powerful tremor on land, as the longest fault is just 100 kilometers long. But there are faults off the east coast that are longer and can trigger quakes with magnitudes higher than 7. The magnitude 7.8 earthquake in Turkey has captured global attention. For Taiwan, it was a reminder of disasters past. Just over 20 years ago, the 1999 Gigi earthquake with a magnitude of 7.3 killed thousands in Taiwan. Experts say that quake was much milder than the one in Turkey. The earthquake had a magnitude of 7.8. Compared with the 1999 Gigi earthquake, it was about twice as powerful. The Chelongpu fault in Taiwan is 112 kilometers long. For an earthquake that powerful to happen, it would need to be about 150 kilometers long. We've been carrying out surveys in Taiwan, but so far we have not found fault lines that long. Experts say fault lines of the coast of Hualien and Taidong are the ones to watch out for. The fault lines off the coast are longer. The only one which could be able to trigger an earthquake like that actually did so already. It's a fault line on the seabed off the coast of Hualien to the north. In 1920, it caused an earthquake with a magnitude of about 7.8. Over the past 30 or 40 years, all the bigger earthquakes struck off the east coast. Meanwhile, the west coast has just been building energy, except for the 1999 Gigi earthquake. We should still be cautious. In the latter half of 2022, several powerful earthquakes shook the east coast, including one in Taidong on September 18th and another one in Hualien in December. The most recent one was a 4.4 quake on Wednesday morning off the coast of Ilan. The Central Weather Bureau says it will continue collecting seismic data about Taiwan, urging the general public to not be overly worried as building codes require structures to be resistant to shaking.